What's up YouTube, John Hendrick here. And today we're gonna to talk about Civazol 35. So we're talking about film, I normally talk cameras. Today I'm gonna to talk about film. How much would you pay to have your film develop and scan? All right, let's get into it. Let's roll that intro. Okay, so Civazol 35, what is it? So it's Kodak Vision 3. Uh, cinema film. So it's true cinematic film uh, used in a lot of movies. Um, one that immediately comes to mind, as I say that, I draw a blank, is um, Blade Runner. Blade Runner uses Kodak Vision 3. So that's kind of an idea of what that film does and how they use it in uh, movies, motion pictures. Okay, so when you get this film, uh, people have been putting these films into canisters for 35 millimeters to shoot pictures with, right? And nothing too new, but um, difficult to find because of the process, the way you have to process this film to develop it. So I'll get into that in a little bit, but um, I do want to talk about, and this is, you know, first, not sponsored by anything you're about to see, Fujifilm, um, Civazol or Cinestill, and okay, but I say all that, let's get into it. So, I don't have 35 millimeter Cinestill film, but I do have 120, so this is it. Cinestill is basically the Kodak Vision 3 without this layer called the rim jet layer. So, they managed to do it so that you could process the film in anywhere, right? At home or at any local or most local developing places. All right, by taking out the rim jet, they allow you to do it. Though the look is very cool, it's very cinematic. A lot of people use it, hence the name since right? A lot of people use it, very commercially used. Um, still not the same though, it's still not the same. So Sibazol 35, when you order it, they come in this little package right here, right? And this is kind of what it looks like. Boom, there it is. Maybe I'll do some B-roll, I don't know. I may do it, just to do it. Um, and here it says it on the box. Cinefil, cinef, cinefilm processing and scanning are included. All right, so when you buy this, you get processing and scanning all included. Now there's a little more to that, but let me, let me, let me, let me tell you, let me show you guys what's up. You get this case, right? If I could open it, I'll show you. Boom. Boom. There it is, 35 millimeter Kodak Vision 3. Okay, so, so right, off the, right off the jump, I'm gonna say there are people that, you know, use Kodak Vision 3, maybe found that eBay or something like that, and figured out ways to process that at home. Good on you. I'm not that kind of guy. I like to send all my stuff out, uh, unless it's just stuff that I'm doing it from like at home and stuff that, you know, like, I'm not planning to sell or show anywhere, then I don't care. I'll process it at home. I'll scan it. This camera is sitting on the scanner. I'll scan it at home and I'm fine with that. However, if it's going to be something I'm planning to sell or show or submit for some kind of contest, then typically I send it all out. This is important because of the next piece. So, since then, I'm going to break down some prices for you guys, okay? Just Bare, bare bone prices, and I got a little, not a little note to here. So, Cinestill, right? Once again, this is 120, the 35 mil, uh, 50D, let's say, is about $13 a roll, right? And remember, when I order, you can order these individual, but when I order them, I order them in packs of four. So, one roll of Cinestill is 13 bucks, right? So, times four, we're looking at like 50 something dollars, right? 50, let's just say $50. Okay, so 50 bucks I um, got online and I looked to see what it would cost me to, and let's do this now, maybe I'll put this in a video too, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do some, some stuff that other people like to do, which is log in and, and show you guys directly what we're talking about. Okay, so boom, logging in, 35 millimeter, four rolls. That's 80 bucks, that's 85 bucks, okay? So 85 bucks plus four rolls at $13 a pop, we're at like 140 bucks, boom. 
There you go. I may write it on the screen somewhere, but there you go. Sinistil, $13, amazing film. I'm not knocking this. I'm just doing this as comparison. $13 a roll, four rolls, 50 bucks, 85 bucks to process all four rolls. High quality scans. You're looking at 140 bucks. Boom. That's out of the picture. Okay. Let me go to this. Remember I said when you order this, you order it and uh, processing and scanning are all included. However, here guess, and this you'll find on other on other reviews. Um, the, this is done in Stuttgart, Germany, right? So when you order it, um, it's going to be in pounds, right, on the screen. So it's going to be like, I'll, I'll do the conversion for us. So in dollars, it's going to be, uh, I don't want to mess this up, 82 bucks. 82 bucks for this pack of four. Now they sell individual film, but I'm about to tell you why it's smarter to buy in bulk. So 82 bucks for these four rolls, right? That's including everything. So already in my head, I was like, man, I'm already like half price, right? Like I'm already winning. So I'm like, okay, I can do that, right? However, there's an, it costs about, we'll, we'll just say 40, 40 something dollars, close to, closer to 50. So we'll say 50 bucks for shipping from Germany to us. So it's like, oh God, okay, so 50 bucks and 82 bucks, I'm already even, right? So it's the same, it's just, it costs me the same. So I'm like, okay, it's costing me the same. However, this is Kodak Vision 3, I explained it already, true cinematic film. And I'm like, all right, I'm on the fence, but here are the cool things. Here are the plus, the pluses to that, right? This is what got me over the hump of going ahead and pulling the trigger on this. So. Anywhere you want to go, you want to push, pull film, you got to pay extra. You don't have to pay extra with uh, Sibazol. So pushing and pulling, no extra cost. Also, this is a big key, key for me, is panoramic. Panoramic is an extra 10 bucks a roll if you do it at the dark room or something. For example, so how does panoramic play into these things for me? I only buy this film to shoot uh, panoramic and there's a reason there's a reason this and this is a short plug because i'm making another video on this as well so this is the fuji tx1 um also um you know it's fuji tx1 x pan right so you have the x pan version same thing fuji made both cameras and they made the x pan for house a lot so it's the same exact camera it's just um Hasselblad has all the Hasselblad thing on it it's black. Um, I like the black, but the paint doesn't last. And th there's reasons for that too. We'll talk about that later. But um, so this is it. So this is 35 millimeter camera, but true panoramic. So I can't open it because I still have six shots left, right? But um, you get this little P right here, right? And that means it's in panoramic mode. Right? And I'll show you. So. I got six shots left, right? Six shots left, panoramic mode. And if I switch this little dial and I switch it, right? Now I didn't have a little P here. And now you'll see I have 11 shots left, right? Because now I'm back to 30, 35 millimeter frames. So how does that work? I'll give you a brief, on, brief, this is brief. I'm making another video on it, but here you go. I'm gonna show some videos, some pictures right now, but here you go. Um, 35 millimeter frames. What this does is it opens a curtain so that you get two, essentially two, two frames, 35 mil on one shot. So the curtain closes. I got a regular 35 mil. I put it in panoramic mode. Curtain opens up. Boom. On my panoramic. That's like the basic explanation on that. So. Let's go back to the film. So I shoot cinematic films, boom, let's show some. Okay, those are it. Those are the, those are the, a couple, right? Cause I'm doing a whole big series on it. But those are just a couple so you guys can see what it looks like. And those are shot on this film. So that's also good. Okay, so let's go back. So now we're talking about Cinestill, about 140 bucks. 
Um, so it was all like 160, right? So we're like $20 over. But I'm like, hey, I would have paid a lot more because I have to, I, I, that's just 35 mil. That's not including the, the extra 10 bucks per roll for panoramic. So essentially, if not, I may be saving a couple bucks. I don't know. I'm not gonna do all that math, but it's very close. So I'm like, screw it, I'll order it, I'll try it. So ordered it, it came in, um, shot all the films, sending it back. Now here's the part that people don't talk about. And mostly because I've realized that most of those videos are done in Europe. So I'm in the US, right? And I am in Texas. So what I'm about to tell you is from me, sending it from Texas to Germany. This little packet, I'm sending it to Germany, cost me about $80. I know, it's a lot of freaking money, right? So now we're over, now we're over 200 bucks to process four rolls of film, which is gonna sound crazy to a lot of people, but if you've watched my other videos, I shoot you know, expensive cameras. Uh, this Fuji TX1 is super expensive, but I think there's a cost to when something is worth it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Kind of makes sense, right? So. Um, so it was $85 to send it back. And I'm just like, golly, man, you didn't, I didn't find that anywhere. I wish somebody would have told me, but okay, I'm all in it right now. I need to see what this is like. So pros, here are the pros now, right? Because as, as I keep diving into it and figuring this out, here are other things that I didn't realize, right? So there's also a bleach, free, free bleach, bleaching of your film. Now, if you know what that is, great. If you don't, you know, the link to this website is gonna be on below. Click on it, scroll through it, look at the bleaching part. They have, they have a two minute YouTube video, it's amazing. You'll see what they do. Uh, it was used in Saving Private Ryan. That film was bleached. So you just think of that as terms of what you're talking about. So here's the cool part. All right, my light just went out, so let's try something. Okay, so here's the cool part. Um, high definition scans, right? But you get like, you get four, but off the top of my head, three are the most important ones, right? So you get a JPEG, so a really condensed file. It looks, um, looks great. Um, you get one uh, scan the way they, uh, the way the film is supposed to look. So they process it for you. They put a preset on it, I think. I don't know if it's a preset or what, but basically the film is uploaded the way it should look like with this film, right? Which which are the ones you saw, right? Those are straight from them sending it to me. And then uh, there's a bigger file, like a TIFF file or a RAW file. Um, but we're talking about like high, high quality scan. So like the amount of information and what you can do is crazy. And I mean, you gotta think about it. This is what they use in motion pictures, right? So for them to tweak it and be able to do anything they want for that specific look for that film, that's why the film and the scans are done the way they are, right? And this is all free, right? So normally you have to pay extra for it, the better like drum scans and stuff so far. So that's also cool. So we talked about the film, we talked about the cost, we talked about sending it back and the surprise of shipment. Um, and the cool things you can do with it. So, how much would you pay? I don't know. But, I like it so much that I ordered two more packs. Now here's something I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna figure out this roll. I think I would've paid 80 bucks anyway sending it back. So I don't think I'm gonna pay more, and this is from what I understand talking to the lady at the post office. I think I'm paying the same amount. So in my, so, the more film I buy from them, and the more I send back just in bulk, I think I'm gonna make out, I think it's gonna be good. But I'll follow up with another video here shortly, uh, talking a little bit more about that. But I, th I think I found the loophole. Also found another one, which um, I'm going to test out first, and then um, in the next review I'll get it. I'll get a little more into it. But there you go. So Sibazol 35, uh, amazing film, motion picture film, Originally Kodak Vision 3, um, or that's the film, Kodak Vision 3, it's a cinematic film. High quality scans, uh, like three different types of scans. Um, the stuff you can do with it is amazing. Um, it does take, that's what I should talk about, it does take about 
three weeks, two to three weeks to get out there, and then another week or two to get back. So you're looking about it like a month, if not a little more, to get from when you send it out to when you get your, you'll get an email. Oh, that's something I should talk about. You get an email, has a Dropbox link, boom, jump on there, download all your stuff. You'll get the JPEGs first, and then later on you get the high quality scans. So, boom. Uh, you're looking about a month. Just keep that in mind if you're ordering it to try some projects. If you're ordering it just to have fun, then so be it. Shoot it, send it out, keep shooting, and when it comes back, boom. Check it out for yourself, enjoy it. I think it's way cool. Last but not least, this is something I didn't know also. I like to keep my negatives, right? So like, I got this big old bag right here, full of negatives, right? I just got back. Um, and for the Civizol, you have to request them back, okay? So, I don't know, they're nine bucks on that because you gotta pay the shipping to get your film back. It's okay though, the way it comes is way cool. I don't know where mine is at. I was looking for it for the video to kind of show you guys. But it comes in a, in a roll. I have two pictures of it. Maybe I'll post a picture on this video. Comes back all rolled up, nice and tight. One long, string, one long strip. Um, and they put this little label on it. It has your name and stuff. I think it's cool. I like those little touches, so won me over when I got it. Um, so obviously I'll be asking for all my film, all my negatives back. There you go. Hope you like it. Check out the link below. Go to their website. Their website's even cool, the, the way they did it. Uh, they have a whole bunch of videos talking about their push-pull methods, bleaching, all that cool stuff. Um, highly recommend you at least try it. And um, let me know what you think. Um, you've seen a couple of shots. Also, let me know what you think about those. And um, most importantly, how much would you pay and would you do it? I don't know. Thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment, something. Talk to you guys later.